Hi guys, I just wanted to quickly talk about uh, your poetry unit. So from here for the next couple of weeks, we're gonna be writing uh, some poems. And uh, I have, I normally do this in the classroom and we do it on paper. So we have to change it a little bit in order to make it work online. Um, normally what I have you do is I make you uh, uh, have a book something like this. So you can see on the front, there's a title page. This is my poetry unit. And on the front, I put some pictures that uh, remind me of poems and I have my name and my class and I don't have the year down I'll have to make sure I put the year on there and then I'll have a series of poems so we have uh, some of the poems we're gonna talk about over the next little bit there's an acrostic one and there is a concrete one and I've got a alliteration poem in here and there's a few poems there that will go through kind of one at a time to make them work now you can uh, put all of your poems on just a piece of paper and send me a picture of them, or you can definitely put them uh, on the document. That's definitely fine with me. The first assignment that we have today is the title page, right? So the I'm gonna put this where you guys can see my screen. Uh, hopefully you can see it okay. So I gave you a document that just says my poetry unit on it. Um, all that I require from you is that you make sure that you have your name so if I was doing this, I would put in my name. And see how it kind of takes up extra lines? I'd probably just take out some of those lines just so it stays on that line. And then our class. Hopefully you guys can still see that. 4K. And the year is 2020. 2020. Okay, so that's the requirements I have. Now, if you'd like to put more stuff in, if you'd like to input some photos or that kind of thing onto your uh, onto your title page, you can definitely do that. Um, my only caution for you is if you are downloading something or taking a, a picture from the internet, remember that those pictures don't belong to you, so you need to credit where they came from. So for example, say I wanted to put a picture of a, I don't know, a unicorn on my assignment. I'm gonna go unicorn and I'm going to take images of the uni of unicorns. No, I don't want to know my location. I'm gonna take images of a unicorn, okay? Now some of the uh, images are going to be copyrighted. And so if they're copyrighted, then they don't belong to you and you can't use them. So one of the best things to do is to say unicorn free clip art. Okay. And for, if you have unicorn free clip art, then it will actually tell you if it's like public, that anybody can use this. So for example, this one says public domain. Uh, I think it's probably pretty safe. Looks like it's something that we can use. Okay. So if that picture is something that we like, we can copy that image and we can put it onto our uh, poetry unit right here. Okay, I can paste it in there. Now, remember that that does not belong to me though. So I need to go back to that. If I click on the picture, it gives me who actually put this picture on. Uh, is it on here? Okay. This is where uh, the picture took me. So I can go copy that uh, site and go back to my title page. And just under it, if I paste it in, paste it in, that tells me where that uh, picture came from. It tells me you didn't draw the picture, that somebody else owns that. So if you're doing any uh, pictures that you're putting on, please make sure you credit the person who actually did the, the work to get that onto the internet. All right, guys? So for today, your title page is all that I'm asking. Uh, tomorrow, we're gonna talk about a poem called an acrostic poem. And uh, I know some people have jumped ahead and done theirs already, and that's okay. All right? So have fun. We'll keep talking about this poetry unit over the next week or two. Thanks, guys.